Hello everyone and welcome to Shaw TCG. My name is James and today we're going to be doing a little speed off video for you. Now I haven't done one of these speed off videos for a while and I thought to make it a little bit different is we'll we'll have a we'll have a chat, you know, just you and me, a little podcast style. Uh, I think last time we had a conversation in one of the speed arts, it was very early on the Vermidax. Uh, but the last speed off video we've done, if I remember correctly, is the Aspid. Is that correct? The Aspid speed art? I think that was the last one. Now, I don't do too many of these, but it's nice to have one out there just to break things up. And people get a spoiler, you know? What's this new creature? It's the new set 2 creature. Uh, if you haven't guessed already, it's a golem. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing for the thumbnail, so I don't know what spoilers will be in there so far. But I'm going to keep a few things secretive about the creature just for now. And we'll slowly reveal it as the video goes on. So in the meantime, what I'd like to mention is that I'm getting married tomorrow, the 25th of September. Um, so video-wise, things have been slowing down a bit. I'm getting this video out today. Uh, which is Friday the 24th and then after that I'm getting my and then I'm gonna be away so there's gonna be no uh, Monday stream there might be a Monday video depending uh, on how generous generous uh, Richard will be maybe he'll make one for us but maybe not if we if we miss a week we'll miss a week unfortunately sometimes that's the case Speaking of the Monday streams, we're going to be transitioning soon to the tournament. So instead of just watching shard battles, uh, we'll be watching shard battles. So it's going to be really different. The tournament, we're sorting out some of the rules already. I'll make a, a proper video for this and I still need to set that up on the Discord as well. So I might have already done that. I'll set up the Discord. If you haven't already joined, uh, you can join Shard TCG on the Discord channel. The link's in the description below. Uh, and we'll have some information on the tournament there, hopefully, for you. Now, what we're planning so far is, obviously, the tournament will be hosted on Tabletop Simulator. What else we have for the tournament is bas your basic rules, really. Um, we've got the, the deck must be at least 40 cards and containing the origin set or the demons and angels uh, structures that have came out. Uh, the maximum number of copies for each deck is, uh, for each card is five, so you can't go beyond that. We haven't put any other restrictions on that, like certain cards and ban lists. We haven't done ban lists, is basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, I would like it if when the tournament began, uh, that the deck can't be changed at all uh, so the deck that you enter into the tournament will be the deck that you play in the finals if you make it you, you can't make any alteration altercations to it um, but we might look that over in case there are some implications with that because it's always a possibility I think for time wise it's gonna have to be knockout rounds in the tournament it'll have to be just just one game and then we move on. The matches will be a maximum of 45 minutes. And if there's a draw after the 45 minutes, if there's no conclusion or somehow both people lose their life at the same time, then it'll just have to be a coin flip, I think, just to keep the tournament moving. But I find that very unlikely that it's going to come up. So I think that's pretty much it for the tournament what we have so far. We would like to sort out a good prize as well. Uh, so we'll see about that in the near future. I'm trying to see if we can get some sort of um, 3D printed shard trophy made just especially for this tournament. Uh, and I think that would be really good. I would really love to work with some fun graphics as well for the tournament. You know, we, once we've had a few games and everything, we can start bringing up like, we can start bringing up screens with uh, the player and some a little bit of information about them type of decks that they play and um, maybe some stats bars that say like of oh, their maybe their aggressive style like how 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 much uh life do they normally have when they win and stuff so so you get an idea like average average remain the remaining life upon victory so somewhere you might average with 
you know, like a, a mid-level 13, so my might, might absolutely dominate and have like an average of more 25, especially if they can heal themselves beyond their start in life. So a few things like that, I would love to do something like that. I'm, it's not guaranteed, but I think we're definitely going to look into it. It's just, you know, it feels more like that esports uh, vibe to it, you know, and that's what we want to create. We want to create that energy, that atmosphere when we play. So I think that's pretty good. So if there's any other ideas that you do have for the tournament, you know, just l let me know because anything that's going to make it better, I'm going to be tempted to do it, you know, if, if it is possible. I'll just leave the tournament as it is for now and we'll... We'll get back to that on a later date. We'll we'll put a video out for for people to see. Uh, right, so that took up more time than I expected. So we're looking at this uh, little order golem. If you couldn't tell already that he was order type, he does have the symbol on his uh, little forehead there. He's a he's a happy chappy. I don't think we've ever done a golem with a strong expression before. And the idea of golems is their um magically and artificially created creatures and the idea of being artificially created is they probably don't have a lot of expression you know they're very um emotionless but this guy once again he, he breaks the he breaks the pattern you know he's very expressionable but i think at the same time that's okay because maybe some golems are created to be expressionable uh, this one uh, is named Centrilex and it's just a combination of uh, Sentry and Lex and Lex meaning law so he's guardian of law uh, which is quite good I think if we if we build a story around him I think he will be a, a bit of a, a guardian of a, a city you know, there, there will be plenty of these created just to patrol cities and patrol city walls. But it could be seen as perhaps guarding libraries and things. Like a guardian of law would guard knowledge, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, there's a few things we can do with them anyway. We've never delved too much into law, but I do like that as well. It's good to keep things quite vague. Um, because otherwise you can end up contradicting yourself a bit. I think set 2 will have a lot more story behind it compared to set 1, which has basically none. Um, set 1 is really just, uh, here's a load of creatures, and this is the beginning of <laughs> these creatures, this, this is the reveal. So there isn't um, as much going on lore-wise. The, the, the creatures themselves have have some history and some knowledge to them and we are slowly adding um, flavor text to them on the website if you go to shardtcg.com you can read a few of them that are there um, like I said there's still plenty missing so if there's any ideas as well don't forget to go to the discord because you can submit the ideas so with this creature anyway what we'll want to do in set 2 is build it more around a city rather than in a wilderness um, so we've already got a couple of order golems that act as um, guards and sentries to the city and we've done a couple of spells that are scenery based which is something we haven't really done before and um, we're not gonna have it invade or not invade but impose too much on the game design and what we want to do for the game but it is fun to just put a little bit more in there and then when the flavor text come out story starts to build so we will want it to be based around the city but it's a it's a city in turmoil uh, that's the idea like uh, I'm not sure if you remember if you've watched any previous videos and um, we revealed the cult of Atlantica now that was a bit of a, a subtle world building um, card as well so we've been building more of these cards around being in the same environment and we've got the centralix now which we can now view the card you can see the information on the centralix there his effect is adding a little more depth to golems with his effect he can actually attach himself to other creatures and buff 
but it's still order based by how it buffs. So I'm just going to leave that on the screen there for you to read. And that's that from me. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.